What is up you guys, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to allocate more RAM in the new Minecraft launcher. Here we go. So you guys will actually be surprised, this is actually a piece of cake. So first of all, you need to check how much RAM your computer has, your Mac in this case. So simply go up to the Apple icon and click about this Mac. And down here, as you can see under memory, it says I have four gigabytes of RAM, which means I am of course limited to only four gigabytes of RAM. So what you do is open up your Minecraft launcher. And then under your profile of choice, as you can see, this is my profile, go to edit profile. And then under Java settings advanced, check JVM arguments. And right here, as you can see, this code will pop up, dash XMX1G. This right here means I will allocate one gigabyte of RAM to my Minecraft game. So I figure maybe one gig isn't enough. Now remember, I do not recommend pushing your computer to the limit by allocating all of your RAM to it. I really do not recommend that. Allocate as little as you can. So, cause Minecraft doesn't really need that much RAM to run. Um, RAM is not necessarily going to boost the performance of your game, but it is going to better help your game when installing such things as mods. Because the more mods you install, the more hectic your game is going to get. And say if you were to do a TNT explosion with multiple blocks of TNT, you are going to need more RAM for that. So this is very, very important for that sort of scenario. So I'm going to allocate two gigabytes of RAM, and then I will click save profile. And then I will click play. And now I'm just going to load up a single player world right here, this one. And then I'm going to go FN F3. And as you can see under used memory, it says 5% of 2039 megabytes. That is around two gigabytes of memory. So that is just to show you that it works. <laughs> now, this is another thing. Like I said, it's not really supposed to boost your game. As you can see, the processor I have is, well, below par. It's not very good. It's a dual, it's a dual core 1.6 gigahertz Intel Core i5, meaning the game is probably not gonna run that well for me. So, like I said, this isn't meant to boost the FPS in your game. If you want to boost the FPS in your game, I highly recommend you check out my Optifine video, which I will link in the description below. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's very simple to do, and um, that is how you do it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave a comment below. I will happily, happily answer it. Also, if you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe for more gaming, tech, tutorials, and reviews, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below as well. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, signing off.